By the time the Christian Church was formally established, when Constantine the Great called for the assembly of the Council of Nicaea, the rumor mill concerning the truth of the historical Jesus Christ, Jehoshua ben Nazariah, was working like a perfect propaganda machine of misinformation. Worse, the Christian Church was established purely for securing earthly rulership and kingdoms of magnificence for its patristic and misogynistic founding fathers who conveniently selected only the texts that would help them in their agenda to attain worldly power. Rather than tell you outright the kingdom of heaven is achieved through this state of self-hypnosis of mesmerism, they use it against you for mind control. The founding fathers of the Christian church left the tiniest clues of the heart of Jehoshua's ministry and preaching in the Bible. When this highly mastered initiate says in Matthew, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, then immediately mirrors it in his follow-up with, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven, he is not only revealing the secret teaching of the mental doctrine of the correspondence of oneness, taught and revealed in only secret priesthood temples, but his very manner of speech is done in the way of heathen pagan temples. This secret doctrine of the ageless wisdom was central to the preaching and ministry of Jehoshua ben Nazaria, who mastered this power of mesmerism over the mental universe of God, taking control of not just his mind, but also the minds of others by frequently getting on a boat or separating himself from his disciples and followers in order to meditate and enter a state of mesmerism to reflect on God within. A state of mind and power he called the kingdom of heaven. He achieved through prayer, starting with our Father who are in heaven. The kingdom of heaven being the head region of the body, where God, or the mind, is found seated on his throne, or the medulla oblongata, the seat of the supreme creator, shaped like a cushy throne, a correspondence of oneness, where, from the oneness of the supreme mind or being of God, comes as a corollary or image made in his likeness, all things, including you, from where the physical universe, the world, and you all emerged as forms made of matter from the imagination of God's mind. It is from the mental plane of this universal consciousness that all things, as above, always find their correspondence to everything down, below. And even though the ultimate planes of God are beyond your knowing, when you understand and apply this correspondence of oneness from the human planes below to those above you of God, you can know the unknown. Manifest anything you imagine from the mental realm into reality, and even catch a glimpse of God himself. Or, as the trained and highly mastered initiate Jehoshua said in the Bible, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. A correspondence of the universal oneness he expressed in his Lord's prayer, and through the verbiage of his chosen words, loaded it with secret coded messages. When this highly mastered initiate says, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, then immediately mirrors it in his follow-up with, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven, this manner of speech and way of teaching is known as metempsychosis, or the notion that the soul is eternal and never dies, precisely because the eternal supreme soul of the monad eternally manifests and inhabits new bodies. And no matter which body, it mirrors back the supreme soul of the creator, or rather, whatever is loosed on earth is loosed in heaven. As everything is consciousness and with the mind of its own, the one universal consciousness to which all things, even you, correspond is God. This heavenly kingdom of God, defined as the consciousness of your mind, is your 
personal correspondence to his universal consciousness, which the initiated master says he can unlock for you by saying the inverse. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. In saying this, he is revealing there is a physical component to this metaphysical kingdom, the head, the seat of universal consciousness in you, that there are keys needed to unlock it, not just one. And by choosing the wording of his expression with the kingdom, he is implying a sovereign. And as God is the ultimate sovereign of his mind, in which you exist as a figment of his imagination, you, who are his earthly correspondents, wear the crown as the sovereign of your kingdom of heaven. All of which is the meaning of the seventh Sahasrara Chakra, called the Crown Chakra, which sits at the top of your head and connects you to universal consciousness. And it too requires unlocking through a state of mesmerism, in the exact same way the initiated master, Jehoshua ben Azariah, known in the Bible as Jesus Christ, achieved every time he went to his boat or sought aloneness from his disciples and followers to pray his, our Father, where, in the first line, our Father who are in heaven means, in other words, our light, which is in our imagination. Part 4. You are the light of God. To dispel the darkness, you must become the darkness. You exist as the light, which dispels the first of seven forms taken by the soul, the darkness. The second, desire. And this desire, he encoded in his Lord's Prayer through the second line, which itself has its own powers, keys, and anatomy, just like the Jesus and Christos do. To dispel the darkness, you must... In the next occult secrets revealed, the salt of the earth, your body, the light of the world, your soul, will be explored. One, a crystal structure, the other, its source, or flavor, or as you will see, the sacred secretion, anointment. Discover your own personal keys to your kingdom of heaven, for if you think you are the zodiac sign you were led to believe, think again. Discover the precise NASA-based coordinates of your 13 planets, across the 13 signs, join the Occult Secrets Revealed Chakra Activation and Kundalini Journey course for just $4.99 a month, through which you will gain access to the Boat of Jesus, the Keys to the Kingdom of Heaven Within, the Chakra Cleansing Master Journey. Please visit AdonisianAstrology.com the official home for Occult Secrets Revealed to get access to the written content of each video up to a week before they're live on YouTube. And until next time, trust and believe that it is okay to be you, the most beautiful you there ever was, there is, and that there ever will be. Because you are not a story that can be told twice. And there will never again be a stage for you to perform, but this one, right here, right now. So be you, the most beautiful you.